leases, prison officials must now verify the release with the judge directly before it actually happens. New tonight, what would you do if you found thousands of dollars in cash just lying in the street? Most of us hope we would do the right thing, but one local guy did. TV5's David Custer has this Good Samaritan story. First thing I thought of was somebody's going to be in a world of hurt. Tony Mihalik is no stranger to being around large sums of money. Uh, we were doing some upgrades because the new $100 bills came out to some of the equipment. He works for Diebold, one of the country's leading suppliers of self-service machines and devices for handling cash. Thursday, he found himself working at Wildfire Credit Union on Bay Road in Saginaw. He was walking through the parking lot at the credit union. It was cold. It was raining. He looked down into a puddle, and then he found this. It was a bank envelope with a hefty wad of cash. Took it back into the credit union, walked up to the teller row, and said, I just found this out in the parking lot. And they, they, they tore it open, and they counted it out, and it was mostly 20s. I think it was just about $2,000. We verified it, and I was really excited because I was really excited for the member that I was going to be able to call him. And before they could even pick up the phone, that member had frantically come back in hoping someone had found his money. The member was very happy uh, to find out that what was lost was found. Wildfire Vice President Linda McGee says they can't give out the name of the man who dropped the money in the parking lot, but the real hero is Tony, even though she says they wouldn't expect anything less from him. He's just, you know, one of those guys that is going to do the right thing. And he did. This 39-year-old says it was a lesson he learned back at home as a kid. I guess just, just the way my parents raised me, I mean, they, you know, they just taught me to do what was right. So I guess I got it from my parents. In Saginaw, David Custer, WNEM-TV5. Now with coverage, you can...